Well, just the same home as you let poor little Sally throw away a fortune. My dear fellow, I had nothing to do with it. The girl, more power to her, acted on her own. Grand gesture, one she may regret. I don't think so, Watson. There's a new spirit abroad in the land. The old days of grab and greed are on their way out. We're beginning to think of what we owe the other fellow, not just what we're compelled to give him. The time's coming, Watson, when we shan't be able to fill our bellies in comfort while other folk go hungry, or sleep in warm beds, while others shiver in the cold. When we shan't be able to kneel and thank God for blessings before our shining altars, while men anywhere are kneeling in either physical or spiritual subjection. You may be right, Holmes. I hope you are. And God willing, we'll live to see that day, Watson. What a lovely morning, Holmes. There's an east wind coming, Watson. No, I don't think so. Looks like another warm day. Good old Watson. The one fixed point in the changing age. There's an east wind coming all the same. Such a wind has never blew on England yet. It will be cold and bitter, Watson. And a good many of us may wither before its blast. But it's God's own wind nonetheless. And a greener, better, stronger land will lie in the sunshine when the storm is cleared. I should like to see a bit more of Canada before we sailed home. So should I, Watson. Canada. The linchpin of the English-speaking world. Whose relations of friendly intimacy with the United States on the one hand, and their unswerving fidelity to the British Commonwealth and the motherland on the other. Canada. The link that joins together these great branches of the human family. Churchill say that? Yes, Watson, Churchill. Things are looking up, Holmes. This little island's still on the map. Yes. This fortress, built by nature for herself. This blessed plot. This earth, this realm. This England.